Hey everyone, Nick from Mossy Creek with this week's fishing forecast. Today is October 18th and it finally feels like fall here in the valley. Uh, we finally had kind of our first morning where it was pretty chilly. Uh, we're looking at the rest of this week. It looks like we're, we're pretty much out of the last couple warm days that we got last week. Everything's pretty much mid 70s this week trending even cooler as we get into next week. So we're gonna really start to see a lot of that fall transition here this week and in, into the coming weeks. Um, what that means for fishing, uh, as far as precipitation and rain goes, still not really anything on the forecast. We, we had kind of some promises of rain last week that didn't pan out a whole lot. So a lot of our mountain streams and spring creeks um, are still slowly waning into the fall. So we're, we're still hoping for a little bit of rain, but for the time being, we're most likely going to be fishing kind of some low, clear water conditions until that changes. Um, with some of the cooler temperatures coming in, like I said, we're going to see a lot of those fall patterns shift into kind of our, our fishing techniques here in the next few weeks. So let's start up in the mountain streams. Uh, brook trout at fishing has still been pretty good. We've good reports um, from Mountain Dry River up in Shenandoah National Park, especially some of the bigger drainages that still hold a little more water. Uh, reports of dry fly fishing are still pretty good with that lower water. Fish are eating attractor dries, parachute atoms, um, UV cinnamon parachutes. Stimulator is a great one this time of year, especially with a dropper, a little pheasant tail nymph, a Frenchie, a blowtorch, some, some attractor that sinks and gets down to the strike zone well. Uh, has been really key. Uh, with that dry fly fishing, especially as we look at the spring creeks with hoppers and crickets and beetles and that kind of stuff, we're probably going to see a lot of that terrestrial fishing really start to die here shortly. If you look at late this week, we start to get a few evenings uh, kind of in the mid to low 30s. Those frost warnings are usually what kick off um, a lot of our terrestrial fishing for the year. So a lot of our focus will be back to just kind of subsurface and like I said, hopefully getting a little more rain to add some color to the water. Uh, with those brook trout streams, we probably have about a week or two left until those fish start to do their thing and start to spawn. Those cooler temps are gonna start to kick that off. So if you like to brook trout fish, I would get out there this week, maybe even this weekend, and kind of take advantage of your last good brook trout fishing until they're doing their thing. Um, down here on the Spring Creeks, pretty similar story as far as water flow goes. Most of our streams are still running pretty low and clear. Um, Mossy Creek's still running pretty stained. It's kind of the anomaly uh, from some of the recent rain. So a lot of big fish have been caught fishing streamers, but you're not gonna see a lot of that low clear water on Mossy that you are on say Beaver Creek, Spring Run, and some of those other streams. So with Mossy, big streamers, um, you know, big profile, dark colors to draw attention. It's a great time to try and catch some of those bigger fish while they're a little uh, less spooky um, with that water color. Um, and in our standard spring creeks, when the water gets really low like this, you know, we go down to a lot of natural patterns, soft landing patterns when it comes to streamer fishing, um, your classic Frenchies, pheasant tails, some of those really natural, um, great attractor nymphs will be really key. A lot of times we'll size down a little bit in that clear water, light tippet, smaller flies just for those spookier fish. Um, the state has started to stock a lot of our favorite streams. Today, Spring Run and North River Delayed Harvest look like they've been stocked, so that's the first time um, that those streams will be online for this coming fall season. So take great advantage of that. Um, South River Catch and Release section was stocked. Um, a, a couple others, Back Creek, uh, was stocked, uh, I believe the Jackson special reg area as well. So a lot of those streams that, that we wait on the stocking um, have, have started to come online. So that opens up a lot of streams um, here for the next few weeks. Uh, the Shenandoah River is starting to really slow down for smallmouth fishing. Doesn't mean you can't catch them. It can still be a great time of the year to catch some of those bigger fish, especially on our warmest evenings. Um, but with those dropping water temperatures from, from our cold nights, a lot of those fish are gonna start to transition into their fall lies and kind of transition into that, that fall fishing. Um, we've been doing some musky fishing. It'll stay pretty good. Um, as soon as we get a lot of leaf litter here in the next few weeks, um, some of that fishing on the river can be tough. 
You're really dealing with the leaf hatch and trying to get your flies um, clear of debris can be a little bit of a pain. So sometimes waiting until the leaf litter is real bad um, kind of subsides can be some of that best fishing. So um, like I said, we're gonna keep an eye, hope for some more rain. Doesn't look like we're gonna get it for now, but as soon as we get that rain, it's gonna really help those conditions kind of across the board. With a lot of those stock streams, load up on you know good indicators, attractor patterns, Y2K eggs, um, some of those pheasant tails I talked about, squirmy worms, a lot of those just really attractive patterns um, that are gonna draw attention to some of those fish. Um, looking, looking forward to seeing a lot of you here in the shop in the next week. Um, come say hi, we'd love to kind of point you in the direction of a few of those stock streams or places if you haven't fished them. Um, we'd love to help spread you out. Uh, but come say hi, uh, enjoy the fish, call us anytime. Thanks.